What the fuck is this white boy shit? I kinda like this shit, actually. What's up, everybody? MC Titan here. And I wanna show you a new product that I just picked up. Actually, a couple products from a company that I had never um, used before. Bells of Steel. They're out of Canada, but I guess they also have a store in America. So it makes the shipping free, which is a good thing, just like Titan. So let's check this baby out. As you can see, it's got the Bells of Steel logo on it, the single post in the front with the handle, a 4 inch thick pad, 17 inch height, which is standard. It has two rollers on the front. Didn't you just say the other side was the front, with fool? With the Bells of Steel logo. And you can bolt it down, it looks like. We're gonna get down and dirty, y'all. We're gonna get down and dirty in this mother. You're gonna see exactly. Oops, I got a scratch on it. How the little brackets come up on the pad, which is pretty important for stability because you don't want that side to side play. I do wish the, you know, I actually wish they had more than just three of these, even though it's pretty damn stable. I wish they had one in the middle and one over here, maybe a longer bracket instead of just taking up half the space. It would be nice if it took up all the space so there wouldn't be any kind of play no matter how hard I hit down on this Hell yeah. What'd you say, bitch? What'd you say, huh? So you're gonna see me rolling back on this thing, just showing you how stable it is and how it could just take my force of my super duper California rolls. Yeah, mm, getting up. Now you're gonna see me get some dumbbell action with the rolls. You know, doubling it up, tripling it up, quadrupling it up, motherfucker what? Hitting that shit like I'm hitting that gut. Fuck that bitch and fuck that slut. Now I'm showing how this will tilt if you go on the wrong side with your knee on the edge. It'll tip over. Don't do that. Now I'm doing some tricep dips to show you that it's sturdy. And it ain't moving. And I'm grooving. Now I'm just going to show you how this pad feels when I'm squeezing down on it pretty hard. Yeah, it's, it's stiff. It got a little give though, you know. That's to be uh, given. Because that's how I'm living. Oh shit, now I'm pounding the shit out of it like, yeah, yeah. Now we're going to go over a test. I'm going to put weight on this axle bar and uh, see how far the pad goes down in a certain area. At the top here is usually where you would be kind of bench pressing. Now I've got 200 and something pounds on it. And you're just seeing how the uh, pad is looking from that one to this one. And then I'm going to go to three something right here. And now we're getting real heavy on one little area. This, this bench could take a thousand pounds, but, you know, on one little area, you know, it's a little bit iffy. Fool, you gonna break that shit, man. So now you see I put over about 600 pounds on there. And then I'm gonna get on top of it 
at the same time, which I'm 220. So that's uh, eight something. And, you know, most of my weight is going on one section. And then I'm going to move to the middle section and put most of my weight on that specific section. And I'm like, okay, it's still holding. It's still good. This bench is going to be uh, worth its money. All right, guys, we're going to do a spill test with this. And we're going to test out the uh, grippy, super grippy material that they say is on this bench, which most benches have once you uh, get past the basic benches. But check this out. The material is grippy, but my FID is actually from Titan is more grippy than this. This is more, it slides more, but I'm sure if you're, you know, you got a little sweat on you, it'll probably grip really good. Now, this is my Huel drink. Let's say you was, uh, you know, chilling, drinking your Huel drink, and you do a spill. Boom. Oh, shit. It looked like somebody jizzed on this motherfucker. You... Just wipe it off. Oh, it kind of spreads. That's, That's what always why you use dopey water. Just soapy water, but I call it dopey water. Spray it on there. Get off any residue. All right, it's been a minute. It has dried. Let me smell it. Smells good. Doesn't smell like ass. I kind of wanted to show you what this bench is also good for. It's sitting in front of your dip machine and giving you that extra room to really hit it like a real tricep machine. So check it out. Here we are on the Bells of Steel website. This item is in stock. It's called the Fat Flat Bench Mighty Grip 2.1. Um, the option that I got was the 199, but actually when I bought it just a couple weeks ago, it was 184. So they raised the prices already. Um, they've got a lot of good reviews, of course, on their website, just like Titan does. But this is, I got the top pad. And this is their upgraded version for 289, which is compatible to the Titan Hefty Bench. But I'm trying to save space. I don't need it that wide. Um, but I did want the fat pad on there. You can see the dimensions. And you can see the dimensions here. It's 12 gauge steel, which is not like Titan. Titan's Hefty Bench is $209. Um, the pad though is 15 inches across compared to the one I got which is 12 inches across but still the same height, 17 inches off the floor. But this one does not have the single post which I really wanted in the fat pad bench which you can see right here for feet placement. Here are the Titan specs on this. Even though they say a three foot design, they lied. Um, you can see the dimensions right here. And it is 11 gauge steel compared to the Bells of Steel one. The Bells of Steel one can take 1,000 pounds. This one says 1,200, which I don't think I'll ever get to. I don't even think I'll ever get to on the Bells. The Bells of Steel also ships free. Um, I was not charged tax through the Bells of Steel, so that helped me uh, save some money as well. Of course, Titan ships theirs for free. Theirs was out of stock. Bells of Steel was in stock. Even if Titan was in stock, I think I still would have chose this bench over Titan's just because I want to save money and I want the smaller footprint and I want that, that third post right there. That was significant to me because I want my foot to be placed right and I don't want to hit this on the other side here basically <laughs> 